you guys lost a lot of production this year with the cash and fulfillment, and uh, people are really looking to you uh, and Aaron to be those main scorers uh, right now. And obviously, we know what you can do. We've seen you do it in high school and a little bit last year. Uh, how confident are you in your ability to really come out there and lead this team from an offensive standpoint? Um, I'm real confident, you know, with the guys behind me like Josh, um, Foster Lawyer, Aaron, um, Shit, really everybody, you know, just, just um, you know, they great teammates, you know, they be talking to me, you know, keeping me motivated and stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, I'm very confident. You know, I just, you know, stay watching film, you know, stay working on my game. Um, Cash is a great point guard, but I feel like I can bring um, basically defense. Um, I can push the ball real fast, just being a leader, you know, being tough, and, you know, just, just basically doing doing everything my team needs me to do. Yeah, and that's what I bring. It's one of the things that coaches always said is that, and particularly last year, talking about the team taking on the identity of the lead guard. Uh -huh. um, Um, I mean, that'll feel great. You know, I got some great guys behind me. You know, like I said, I feel like, um, you know, the guys going to basically bag me up the whole way. You know, they they great they great dudes. You know, we got a great coaching staff. And, you know, um, it'll feel real great for the guys to follow behind me. And, you know, yeah. We'll go to Dalton Shepard from the Spartan Sports Network. Hey, Rocky, good to see you. Um, question for you. As a sophomore, you've you got to see in an offseason, a traditional offseason last year coming into your freshman year. How different has this offseason been with everything going on? Uh, what have been some of the challenges? And does it feel the same to you when you get back out on the basketball floor? Or are things still just kind of bizarre to you as a team? Um, I feel like with the COVID stuff, you know, it kind of slowed everything up. You know, but once, you know, once everybody got back and, you know, we – we kind of started meeting with each other and, you know, practicing, you know, and just getting a feel of the game. And I feel like, you know, um, really everything starting to feel the same and come back together. So, you know, I'm just ready for the season and, you know, I'm very excited to play with my guys. Next question is from Kyle Austin from the NLI. Hey, Rogers, wondering at what point would you say you really knew that you were going to be moving over primarily to points and what sorts of things did you do throughout the offseason? Um, actually, I still don't know if I'm, you know, the starting point guard right now. Um, I feel like Foster's been playing real great lately, and, um, you know, if he starts, he really deserves it. And, um, you know, if I start, you know, I, you know that would be real great for me and the team, you know, and same same way with Foster, you know, if he starts. So, you know, I really don't know who's starting right now. Okay. Well, mm. Um, you know, really just watch Cassius, you know, the great job that he did last year and, you know, just his pace of the game, you know, and how he run the floor and be a great leader. So, you know, that's just my job to come in and, you know, just be a leader and, you know, run the floor and, you know, find my guys shots and stuff like that. So, you know, that's, you know, that's basically my job. Um, you know, basically as a point guard here, you got to find, you know, you got to find other players' shots. But, you know, I just got to know when to take the shots and, you know, when to take over the game. But, you know, um, most importantly, just just really find my guys' shots and, you know, just stay, you know, stay, um, stay right with the pace of the game. You know, don't force anything. But first, you know, just really take care of the ball and, you know, just find shots for um, basically other dudes. No, 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 not really. I just, you know, just, you know, play my game and, you know, make the right play, and, you know, and still take the shots that I take, but, you know, just take the leadership and, you know, just find, find shots for other dudes. And, and one last one, you were playing so well in those, those, those last few weeks of the year. How much did that, um, you know, kind of fuel your summer? How much did it kind of eat you that you didn't get to show what you were doing at that time of year in the postseason? 
Yeah, actually, I was real mad, you know, when the COVID hit, cause you know the guys, the guys was playing well. You know, we start, we start clicking on together. Um, you know, I was playing well, and you know, it was just, it was, it was very exciting, just winning on the road and stuff like that. So, you know, I feel like that played, that played a big part of the team. You know, me just having the energy, you know, playing defense, and you know, it's basically that. Oh yeah, for sure. When Coach went there, you know, it was kind of weird. You know, just his vibe around that. You know, him just standing on this thing. You know, the energy that he brings. But um, we were still talking to him on Zoom, and you know, the I think like two or three days ago he came in. You know, he was talking from the bleachers. I mean, the stands, and you know, it was kind of weird. But you know, our guys like Josh Foster and Aaron. You know, the other guys around him. You know, we just stayed together, and um, you know, the leaders they was talking to us and. You know, just just being um, great leaders, and I feel like you know that played a big part. You know, while coaches out, and also the um, coaching staff. You know, they did a great job. You know, all the coaches, and yeah. And the last question for Rockets from Chris Savard. Yeah, I wanted to just ask you about the Rockets. You obviously got some time last year. Was there any point? What did you learn from that, and and what was maybe the difference for you from being able to two and being able to one? Um, then at the one, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta push the ball, and you know, you gotta communicate, you know, with the with the other players, and you know, just just basically make sure they on track, and um, you know, just find find shots for them first before you take your own shot and stuff like that. And I feel like, um, you know, playing it too, you know, you can basically score the ball. You know, that's the position to score the ball. So, you know, it was it was um, a big difference. You know, me playing a one, and yeah, it was. It was a big difference for sure. Rocket, thanks so much for taking the time. All right, thank you. We'll be back with Josh in a second.